This week's Retail Week is brought to you by FlexConnect from Verdesian Life Sciences. Waste less, treat more, make more. Well, welcome again to another edition of Crop Life Retail Week. Reunited here with Eric Sfilgoy, uh, your twin editors on uh, Crop Life and et cetera, et cetera, here at Meister. Glad you uh, know how to still pronounce my last name. Too. I do. That's very impressive. Sfilgoy. <laughs> There's still too many. He comes back and he still has the same number of consonants. I read it. It's like, why? Okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so it's been a busy couple of weeks. Uh, so we both been, you, know, you mostly have been traveling uh, to Maca and, uh, and Maca meeting, Mid America Crop Life meeting that was in Kansas City. Very good meeting there. A lot of, a lot of folks in attendance. Uh, mostly talking about what to expect in 2018, and uh, folks were uh, also bragging a little bit about what uh, their companies were doing to help uh, reach with, uh, have, have outreach with uh, the public and, and consumers regarding the positives that uh, agriculture has to offer them. So, very yeah. interesting. Just be watching uh, Crop Life's E! News and Magazine for updates on uh, what was said. Absolutely. And then we have um, a couple of things coming up. You were going to be at the uh, Farm Science Review, which yeah, is down, yeah. down, in, uh, down near Columbus. Right. In London, Columbus. Ohio, next week, Farm Science Review. Uh, myself and a few others will be making the trek. So if you're going to be at that event and you want to talk to some crop life folks, uh, we should be available on Tuesday, the 19th of September. Yep, but we're getting. I'm also getting ready for Crop Life America annual meeting, <clears throat> which is at the end of the month. I'll be there for for three days. We've got lots of appointments trying to figure out what's going on in the crop protection world, everything from from dicamba to global uh, to the global movements in the market to consolidation. Should be a, should be a interesting couple of days there. And uh, what else? Is, is there something? There's other things going on. What, what do you, yeah. Sure, Paul. Your, <laughs> there's, there's lots of other things going on, and I know you've got one of them. I have one of them at least. Uh, actually, I know we've been talking a lot about the crop protection folks getting together and uh, combining their resources and companies and changing names. Uh, but one of the things that, uh, one of the mergers that we actually haven't paid that much attention to is the merger of Potash Corp and Agrium, which will be taking place uh, by the end of the year, according to the companies. And they've released the new name, Paul, and it is Anutra N. So that will be the new name of Potash and Agrium come 2018. So I'll be watching for that. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Yeah, it's it, it, the uh, fertilizer industry had gone through so much consolidation, and uh, you know it's it's been a long break since we've had a major one. So this would be very interesting to see. I know there are some. I think there have been a little bit of concern expressed among retailers about supply and yeah. things like that. Just maybe some minor concerns about uh, making sure that they have enough product. But it tends to be a concern every year, and and we can only hope the uh, manufacturers will be able to deliver without any problems. Amen. We'll take a quick break, but when we come back, Paul, I have a brain teaser for you. So get ready. Okay. Hi, this is Paul Shrimp uh, for Retail Week. We're walking through the Farm Progress Show, and we got a chance to stop at the Verdesian Life Sciences booth. We're talking to Jim Pullins, and he's uh, going to tell us a little bit about the innovation you're showing here at the at the Farm Progress Show. Yeah, we're really excited to introduce FlexConnect as a new application system for our Brazide CL. In the inoculant business, we have a lot of difficulties applying them because they're in set quantities that have to be used right away. And FlexConnect gives our customers the opportunity to be able to mix these as they need them, save inventory for later, and apply a higher quality product to the seed so the farmer gets better performance in the end. So it's really solving some of the problems that uh, you know, the, the retailers are having with some of these products and inherent in just the, the process of, of doing the seed treatment. Okay, that is absolutely correct. Currently, the seed treatment business is moving more to a no-touch, a closed system. The inoculants have not been part of that system. FlexConnect moves inoculants into a, a closed system that, that protects the quality. We can maintain the quality for as long as 14 days out of the original packaging without any loss, any spoilage, any degradation in the performance of the product for the grower in the end. So they can get the performance they're after, convenience, operational efficiencies, and actually make more margin in the end by eliminating a lot of waste. Well, it's really good news for retailers. So when will we expect to see this rolling out? We're rolling it out here at the Farm Progress Show today. This is our media launch. Uh, so this is available to retailers today to implement going into the 2018 season. Oh, great. Thanks. Appreciate your time, Jim. And that's it from Retail Week from the Farm Progress Show. Well, welcome back. But before you get to your uh, fabulous brain teaser, which is starting to scare me, uh, the uh, wanted to mention that we have the Precision Ag Vision Conference coming up with our sister publication, uh, Precision Ag. But it's not just Precision Ag from CropLife's perspective. We're also got uh, 
We've got a number of presentations on the specialty crop side. It's really a broad look um, at the future of, of, of technology and how it's affecting really every aspect of uh, every aspect of agriculture. Just got a registration from Amazon a couple of days ago. Wow. Uh, we've got a couple of folks from New York that are on the consulting side um, signed up. So it's it's going to be not just about ag, but really about um, um, technology and how how it's affecting agriculture much more broadly. And, and so we welcome you to visit precisionagvision.com, take a look at the agenda and what we've got so far, and, and uh, love to see you there. And please consider signing up. So on with the brain teaser. All right, Paul. Well, of course, uh, as you know, of course, we, we live with calendars in our lives, and there are key dates that come every month or annually. I mean, Christmas Day, everybody looks forward to, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, New Year's Day. So, Paul, here's a day for you. Let's see what you make of this. What comes to mind when I say April 15th? Tax day. Tax day, yes. And I know most of us hate that that day uh, in particular because a lot of us end up owing the government or the state money, and uh, it's April 15th is not a fun day. And we actually found out, Paul, that April 15th, 2018, may be a very special day or infamous day for uh, the agricultural community because uh, rumor has it that because of all the trouble that has been had this year with dicamba application, EPA is considering banning the use of dicamba in the 2018 season uh, come April 15th of that year. So uh, applicators would not be able to apply after tax day comes around. So that could put a little bit of a crimp and the new cropping systems uh, hmm. getting used because you basically wouldn't be able to apply after the early planting season was over. Interesting. There's been there's a lot of scuttlebutt going on right now. There's there's we have uh, uh, we have um, uh, some of the some of the extension folks are, are coming out against um, mm -hmm. you know against uh, some of the things that Monsanto has been saying about dicamba overall in terms of volatilization and it's going to be. It's going to be quite a winter of discussion in, 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 in research and trying to figure out um, what really is best. Everybody wants what's best for farmers and what's best for applicators, but um, uh, there's not really a clear answer yet. And hopefully, hopefully a winter of, of you know, getting back into the, into, the, into the information and figuring this out will be able to come out of next year without well, having onerous regulations. Just, right, right. And, and it'll be interesting, I mean, you, like you said, you mentioned you're going to be at Crop Life America's meeting. It'll be interesting to hear what's said by the folks there, since a lot of them have a very high vested interest in this uh, dicamba technology. Absolutely. Well, that's it for this edition of Crop Life Retail Week. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you next week. Thank you to this week's video sponsor, FlexConnect, from Verdesian Life Sciences.